Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Between a Pot and a Hard Place. I'm Stephen Colton. And I'm Chris Kirkpatrick. And we're, we're finally here. We're finally at this day. Um, I want to do a little intro before we bring her on. Yeah. One of, one of, if not my favorite guests so far, definitely the most energetic, the most fun, uh, talkative, just all around great. I'm excited. And you, I'm excited. I'm sure you can see everybody and she can see we're wearing our shirts today for this. So. Okay, so I just gonna bring her on, I guess. Yeah, like, there really is not much we can say. So everybody, welcome back, Lee Newton. Hey, Hello. Hey. I love the shirts. Yes. Oh my gosh. We're representing. We're representing. Yes. You guys look amazing. <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, it is so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back. Welcome well, back. I'm so happy to be back. I know it's been such a crazy few months it's been busy and i'm just so glad to finally get to the chance to get back with you guys yeah yeah we, we were we uh, we just really enjoyed the last time that you were on and um I, we've become just the biggest lee newton fans so uh, <laughs> we're glad that we were able to, to bring back on the show oh i'm so tickled when you guys asked me to come back on i was like yes i am all on board for this because we had yeah. the best time the last time <laughs> and so much to talk about Right. I mean, yeah. You've been you've been busy, I think. I don't think you stopped moving since the last time we talked. I've not. And I feel bad like it, I have so many people between all the different social medias and the comments and the messages and then I'll respond back and then I end up with more that's responded back to me. Right. Sometimes things get lost in the shuffle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. If I have like not responded back to you, that's why. It's not that I'm ignoring you. <laughs> It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. I totally understand. Yeah. I wanted to first. I wanted to first say. Um, uh, I know your your son had a birthday party today. Yes. He yes. Did. It'll be five on Tuesday. Little all right. Over. Oh wow. Yes. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> he is such a sweetheart, and uh, he he had the best time at his little birthday party, and um, had a big old cake, and I ate way too much. Of course. Of course. <laughs> But yeah, so so what you guys been doing? Yeah, I, I feel like it's just been uh, it's just been busy. I'm a, I'm an educator, and so this is like the end of my school year. So we are we are just holding on for dear life to to finish <laughs> things up. So well, he starts kindergarten this year. So yeah, I'm gonna have like major empty nest syndrome because you know <laughs> Cash is always <laughs> with me. So. <laughs> But maybe I'll be, able, I'll be able to go and do some lives some and during the day, you know, so that'll be kind of yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. I have not been up to much at all. Honestly, the last few weeks, I've just been around home. I'm kind of in between jobs. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm just kind of hanging out for a little bit. Oh gosh. I'm getting crazy, though. I'm just like, I got to get out. I got to do something. I got <laughs> to get going. Oh, man. Well, I know I'm super, super excited about just everything coming up. And um, Josie's, oh my gosh. What's, yeah, that's editions. cool. Yeah. Blew my mind. I was I was hoping hoping and praying for at least one, but I could not believe that I got eight. That's okay. crazy. That now really is crazy. Let's hope you win all eight. That'd oh, be amazing. I'm tickled just to be nominated. I'm not going right. to. There's some amazing artists. Um, I, oh, my gosh. To even be in the same categories as some of those artists, I'm like, wow. Yeah. What were some of the yeah? What were some of the categories that you were that you Let's were in? See. Um, um, well, one that I'm the most proud of was Social Impact Song of the Year, which is for Strength of a Woman. Yeah, that was like yes, i you know I, that one means so much to me to be nominated for that. Um, and then I got Rising Artist of the Year, um, Modern Female Country Artist of the Year. Um and oh Southern Rock Song of the Year with I Want It All. That's great. Woo! Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so there was just there's just so many different um there was end of eight. I had some uh, three of them with the video of the year, a collaboration that I did a duet with Michelle Lee on wire. We had that with a, another song, and then we also did a Christmas song together. So we we got nominated for that one. So I'm just tickled even to get a go this year. So I'm yeah, so <laughs> yeah. 
I've already bought my dress. <laughs> Top secret, guys. I'm going to love this. You know, well, Lee you Newton style. Wait. Lee Newton style. I have to wait to the day of. You guys won't see it till then. You're going you're gonna to keep people guessing. This one's way better than last year. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so when it when is that award ceremony? It is sep. Oh gosh, <laughs> they complete it in September. It's, uh, oh gosh, I've, I did have it wrote down. Um, it's the uh, Friday and Saturday, the second weekend in September. It's the same weekend as the Rod runs. Okay. So it's okay. going to be super busy there um but josie and tina oh my gosh they are just absolutely amazing and everything that they do for the independent artist they go over and beyond to make it most definitely red carpet amazing um i know last year was my first year going and i actually won you know last year for um multi-genre uh, vocalist of the year and yeah i've I was just so glad to be a part of the JMA family uh, from that point on. And I met some amazing people um, that have become really close friends of mine throughout this year. So um, I couldn't ask for to be a part of uh, such a, a, a better um, event that, that takes place because they really they really take it to heart uh, helping independent artists like myself. So but I think a lot of people are going towards independent artists, really. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. Um, I think, you know, you get to make your kind of your own rules and I'm kind of a little rebel anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just do my own thing and, yeah. um, and, and everything's just kind of like um, spur of the moment. Um, and I get to make my own rules. Nobody gets to tell yeah. me what to do and they don't have a, a thumb on me. So maybe it's a, a good thing. <laughs> it is. It, it is a good of, thing. Yeah. I've heard of so many people who are, almost like a slave to the label. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so it's great that you get to kind of call your own shots. Yeah. So that's great. I feel like the, the nominations have got to be, you know, validating for you, right. That you've, you put all this work in and you're getting, you're getting a good positive response back. Right. Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, cause, and I had never, you know, I just started song doing songwriting within the last year, the first right. year. Um, you know, I started off with daddy's little girl. I started writing more. And of course I've been writing up a storm. I mean, I can't wait for you guys to listen to the new songs. Oh my gosh. Yes. yes. Um, but with that being said, you know, I never realized, you know, when you'd see artists get up on stage and they're like, you know, talking about, you know, writing their song and it's their baby and like they put so much hard work. And, you know, at first, you know, I didn't really realize that because I was just a singer, you know, I yeah. sing other people's songs, you know, but being on the other end of it and writing the song from the very beginning, babying it through when you're in the house and you're listening to the beginning stages of it, mm -hmm. getting it into the studio and you're putting all this hard work into it and all these musicians that start adding their magic to it. And then, you know, you, you get the finished product, but then it don't stop there. You know, then you're working harder to get it out because you're so proud of it, you know? Right. But then what's so rewarding, and, and this is something that I have gotten um, so much of, and it, it literally on a daily basis, I will tear up at some, I'm so oh. emotional. <laughs> and I have such a, just a tender heart, but I, I get so mm. many messages through um, social media um, that about the strength of a woman. Right. Right. Every day I get if I don't, if I'm not getting 50 messages a day from that song or more. Wow. Wow. This song and, and to know that I wrote it coming from a, 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 you know, a hard place in my life that helped me get through and then to see it helping other people. Wow. The, the impact of the song is just mind blowing to me. Um, and it makes me so proud um, to, to have written a song and I know that I give it all all to God because I know that he gave me that song um, to write uh, yeah. for people. Um, so my main goal is just to get it out there as much as I can. Um, Do you mind asking or if I mind me asking about the kind of what what inspired you with with strength strength of a woman? Strength of a woman. <laughs> it's it's a very personal song, which all songs are. Um, but this song literally came um, during a time when I was going through a separation. And, um, and I literally, 
at that time I had hardly nothing to my name. Um, and you know, didn't know exactly what I was going to do. I was even homeless kind of, if you want to say that Mm -hmm. until I found a place, um, And just had a lot on me of what I was going to do, how I was going to get through it. And a lot of women, you know, a lot of people go through this. Yeah. You get to a crossroads and you don't know what to do. And, and, you know, you have to just put your faith in God. And that's what I did. I put my faith in God and he guided me on this journey um, and uh, took care of me in cash and put people and little angels in our, in our way and, um, and made this way for us. And actually I wrote this song, driving cash in the back said I've literally got the recordings of me singing it into my recorder and cash talking in the back. It's oh, wow. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> um, so it's, it's just a very, it's a song that helped me cope. And, and, and I know like after I got it back from the studio, once it was completed, um, I literally had the moment of where I broke down in tears. Yeah. And that was the first time that I had broke down in tears over anything. And I think that that was just a, a healing process for me with that song. Um, but this song not only goes through that, it goes, I've had women uh, and men, but, you know, women that's, you know, went through medical issues or they've, you know, lost their child or they're going through depression or they're going through a divorce or they're just having a rough week, you know, this song is just, it's just one of those God sent gift songs. And I'm, I, I know I over talk about it, but I'm just so passionate about this, this song. It's the more people that it can reach the better. Right. It's, it's amazing. I know my mom really loved it. I showed her the video and she was like, Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And she's <laughs> every time she's like, tell her, I love that song. Tell her, I love that song. Oh. Well, you know, when I first started and I wanted to put everybody's pictures in there, even your mom's, your mom's picture, oh, yes. um, you know, and, and it, all, it was so overwhelming. Um, and that's been a few months ago yeah. that happened. And this song is still, it's just picking up more momentum, like on TikTok, on Facebook. Um, but when I started doing those videos and I had all the women send in their pictures to me and their stories um, or the men send in pictures of, you know, women mm. that they adored and they looked up to. It, it amazed me at how many women out there um, have went through so much and they are so strong. It just, it blows my mind um, at the strength that they have um, embraced within themselves and come out on the other side, just, you know, doing so, do, doing so great. And, um, and knowing that this song is such an inspiration to them and them letting me know and even opening their selves up to tell some of these stories. Cause I mean, those are some pretty deep stories. I don't know if you guys went in those comments on some of those videos, but I've seen some, yeah, I, yeah. I was reading through a few of them. I mean, I, I was having women sending pictures of being, comp- you know, where they had literally had to have stitches, you know, mm-hmm. they have been wow. through abuse or wow. you know, where they've literally had to have, you know, their leg amp- amputated and they've had to mm-hmm. learn how to just kind of cope with life again after that. And um, these ladies have stayed with me throughout these months and they're still sending me updates and, and stuff. And I have this one lady, um, oh my gosh, Jamie, her name is Jamie and she is absolutely the best, but she had cancer. Um, and it showed her battle going through the cancer, her losing her hair. Um, and now she's fighting and she is on the other side and she's, you know, victorious and she, wow. uh, you know, she is amazing. Wow. She is a fighter. She is a warrior. And, um, I tell her that this is her anthem song, <laughs> 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 but, um, but yeah, I mean, and like I said, I love all my songs. Um, but that one just holds a very special place, uh, in my heart that one and daddy's little girl but you know daddy's little girl will always be special to me just oh yeah <laughs> yeah well because da- daddy's little girl was your first one yes right? yes daddy's little girl was the first one of course i wrote it about my dad um you know when he passed away when i was 11 um and he is the one that has instilled all this wonderful amazing music in me <laughs> from such an early age of, of us he started teaching me how to play guitar when I was seven. It's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. I mean, I'm not, yeah. a, I'm not really great. I'm not a great guitar player. I can strum and pick a little bit. Um, 
but he did give me that passion for music. And every time that I, I get a sing or I'm on stage or I start talking about music, I feel like my dad is literally right next to me. And I guess that's why I'm so passionate about one day playing on the Opry. Right. I will be on right. the Grand Ole Opry. I know that that Dan Rogers <laughs> from the <laughs> Opry is probably saying, who in the world is this Chick Lee Newton that keeps tagging me, wanting me to book her at the Opry? <laughs> Right. <laughs> but, you know, persistence pays off. It I'm works. Not crazy. And, yeah. I'm passionate. Yes. yes. It'll work. <laughs> I, I was really glad that you brought up uh, the Grand Ole Opry. Um, what, why is that so important to you? When I was a little girl, my dad, you know, of course, I love music and all that, but he would set me up on the coffee table. We had this old wooden coffee table in the living room, and my dad would be off maybe, gosh, he's a cab driver. And so he worked 12-hour shifts, seven days a week. He would get one day off maybe every three or four months. Yep. But I remember the day, the Sundays that he would, would take off, I remember him setting me up on that old wooden coffee table and he'd get his guitar and he would start playing, rolling in your sweet baby's arms or something like that. A Randy Travis song. And he'd sit me up there and he'd be like, okay, one day you're going to be on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. And he says, and I'm going to be right there to, to watch you. And, and he just always said that to me. And that st stuck with me all these years. Still to this day, like I can hear, my dad saying that to me. So the, the feeling of being on that stage where all the great musicians have played in the past, and, and, and it is such a prestigious place to play because it's not like mm -hmm. it's how many albums you sell or who you are. On that. It's, it's about moral and character to be right. on that stage, and you have to be invited to be on that stage. And it's just such a, a special place to be in that circle, and I want to be in that circle one day because I know as soon as I step in that circle, I want to feel my dad there with me. And I guess I'm longing for that. I need that. Oh, yeah. I need yeah. that. Before I, I leave this earth, I will be on that stage. So Dan Rogers, friend requests me. So <laughs> answer my friend request. <laughs> we, we have him live. No, I wish. Right. Um. Come on, Dan Rogers. <laughs> oh, it'll happen. It will. I, One day. One day, hey, I, I do not stop dreaming. When you stop no. dreaming, you 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 fail because you're you're not trying. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't want to talk about myself too much, but I just want to say, like, I've talking about not trying and failing. I I I think I talked about it the last time you were on. I talked about wanting to write a movie script, and as me and Chris have talked about it, I actually finished the first draft of that script. <laughs> Yay! And I have it like printed off in a binder and I've been reading it and note taking notes and stuff. And it's a hundred, what I forget. No, 96 pages. I think it was or something oh, like that. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. And so now that's the work you were talking about a minute ago, of like going through and re reworking it, reworking it. Everybody that's yeah. written anything is like, that's the real work. And now that's where I'm at. And now I'm like, okay, I thought I accomplished something, but now I'm just starting. Well, and too, you, you know, I don't know about you, but I mean, like, you know, I start writing out, and sometimes you can get in your own head. Right. And sometimes I have to just like say, okay, stop thinking. You're overthinking it because that will mess up your artistic creativity yeah. right there. <laughs> um, because, you know, sometimes when I write, I'm like, oh gosh, is this, is this good enough? Or is this, mm -hmm. you know, but you just got to do it. You got to be yourself. And I'm so proud of you. That yeah. I mean, I, I added a lot of my life into it and I get to the point where I'm like, I don't want to make it just like a documentary type thing. I want it to be like about me, but not like exactly like me. So I'm still yeah. reworking and like figuring out I've already added stuff. That's like, Oh, that never happened to me, but let me make it happen to this character. <laughs> and it's just really fun to play with it. Cause it's almost like changing the past and like maybe fixing things you didn't like or Maybe making things worse than they were to uh, where you can appreciate where you're at yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's writing is so much fun. And this part of it, it's a lot more frustrating and a lot harder than just coming up with an idea. Yeah. That's, I mean, but I mean, I've got a few people that I know now through doing this show. Like I've met people and they're, they're reading it. And so it seems awesome. like every episode we do, we end up talking about these guys, these guys, right. Jay and Todd, who made a movie uh, this past year uh northwood pie it's about this, these guys that work in a pizza place 
And I watched that movie, and I'm just like, I could do that. I could make a, a movie. This is a simple movie, and it's a nice movie. It's realistic. Mm-hmm. It talks about, like, emotions and situations, and it's like – it made me really want to write. And then those guys are actually giving me notes and stuff. And so, oh, oh man. yeah, I'm excited. See, that is awesome. That is so cool. And I'm so proud of you. You just thank you. never, never give up on it and just yeah. keep on going. <laughs> and it was, there was the whole idea of the whole speak it into existence thing. When you first came on, it kind of really kind of relit the spark a little bit. I was like, you know, I can do this. I can finish this. I'm so glad. Yeah. I, you know, I, I hoped, you know, and that, if I can be an inspiration to one person, then I've accomplished what I've wanted to do, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and, um, and that's why I've always thought, you know, I, I know God puts us on here on earth and we have different talents. Mm-hmm. You know, I sing or I, I act stupid and, and silly and make people laugh. And, you know, everybody has their own little talents that they bring, What no matter what it is. Um, and I just think that, we all need to use them and um, don't let them go away. I mean, they're not, they're, they're given to you, use them. <laughs> and it's, it's crazy. The kind of people and connections you make just accidentally. I mean, it, it seems like an accident, but then it's like, Oh, well, you, uh, you know, it just happens. And it's, yeah. and it, I just now realized that it's funny because we were talking about the movie based in the pizza place. And I remember like, we're, we got to get you with that pizza hut commercial. So I know our <laughs> show always revolves around pizza somehow. Yes. Right. Wait got to get we have got to get a commercial and 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 spawn or a sponsorship or something for 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 pizza because literally i have bought so much stock in pizza hut (laughs) you know i mean we were just there was it yesterday i think it was yesterday yeah when when you walk in and they know exactly what you're ordering they automatically bring it to you and they talk they know cash they know me it's like yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, i I love places that are like that yeah. Yeah. Well, everywhere. Well, we don't go many places. We go to a, a couple, um, which we you know our favorites is Copper Penny and Forest City, which I'll give them a big, huge shout out because I love Copper Penny. And of course, Pizza Hut and, and Forest City, they're amazing as well. So, yeah, um, those are our two, mine and Cash's two places to go. <laughs> no, we're going to make that commercial happen one day. Yes. We are. We, we have are. to. Yeah, I mean, because if I could get Pizza Hut behind me, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, yeah. that would be huge. That would, I, I need sponsors, guys. Right. Need sponsors that would help with the new album. I'm I'm down for it. Sponsors, baby, sponsors. Or or at least free pizza. Yeah, and that would give me enough I mean, <laughs> to probably record a song every now and then. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the pizza's good, and you know, yeah. I, I mean, every I don't know, I just. I love pizza. All right, now I'm upset. I'm thinking about pizza now. I'm just like, ah. now you're going to have to have pizza tonight. I mean, right, right. I have to call up Pizza Hut now and like have it delivered while on the show. Like, ladies and gentlemen. Like, oh, man. But yeah, so I mean, I'm like, uh, speaking of pizza, I know uh, Cash, uh, he, uh, he most definitely needs to be the spokesperson for pizza. That's for sure. For Pizza Hut. Yeah. We'll just make him famous off of Pizza Hut. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. But yeah, so, but yeah, I couldn't believe I actually got to see Lori Morgan. That was oh, you awesome. did? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. That's did great. You not see that? I saw, the, I saw the post, I think one of the posts about it a while back. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. I finally, you know, it's speaking into existence. You I know. know. I wanted, wanted her to, to sign my guitar and um, ended up going to Panama City. Uh, probably wow. a couple yeah, a couple weeks ago, um, and got to see. Okay, oh, we well, see. You've talked about pizza now. He's right. Free. Now, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, so I got to, uh, and there probably might be some little interruptions with. Little no worries. Guys. No worries. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Everybody, everybody knows that catches catches. Uh, he's a little uh, ham within himself. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so I got to go to, to Panama city um, and meet her and her husband, uh, Randy. And they were super, super generous. Um, and with their time, cause I know that it, it was actually the second year anniversary of her restaurants opening. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So wow. she Lori Morgan's chicken coop, which is amazing. It was so cool. Uh, and they were actually giving away a guitar there. That oh, night. cool. And uh, but she she was very generous and it was so nice to get to actually just meet her. Um, and like I said, her husband was super nice as well. And he's wanted kind of, you know, 
set it all up and stuff. So it was, it was something, it's, it was on my bucket list with the Grand Ole Opry. So, um, <laughs> cause she, her and uh, my dad was the reasons why I ended up becoming a singer. So mm -hmm. um, he'd always said, you're going to be a country singer. Well, I didn't know what that meant until I saw her on stage. And then I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what, yes, that's what I want to be up. That's what I want right there. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I think she sang at the Opry just literally a few days after I met her. Um, she performed and it was just, she was just beautiful. And that's the sign. I think like you meet her for the first time and she's on that stage. It's like, you're close. I think you are. Like, uh, you, I mean, it has to be. I, I'm, I hope it, it happens. Uh, I don't care. I mean, even if it's a year down the road, as long as I know it's coming, it's going to it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. That's definitely going to happen one day. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm just hoping to, uh, to hurry up and get all these songs done. Um, I've got enough to start probably a, the new album. I'm getting ready to start a video. Wow. Um, so I'm getting ready to do the video for I Want It All. So oh, great. Super, super excited about that. Um, it will be filmed in my hometown of Haywood County. Um, so I'm super excited about that. It starts out at, at, there and it will end in Nashville. I, I can't cool. tell too many details about it, so it'll it'll give it away. Um, but you guys are going to love the video. It's going to be amazing. It's awesome. Awesome. It takes place in a pizza hut. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, should. <laughs> actually, it will be at a, a little small diner that's in Clyde, North Carolina. Okay. Which literally they have one red light. But, well, I take it back. They used to just have one red light. They did graduate up to two red lights through the oh, whole wow. I know. And they have <laughs> one restaurant, which is the Pioneer Restaurant. Um, and they have one bank and one convenience store. That's all you need. Oh, and a Dollar General. No, I feel like I might have been to that place before. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been over in Clyde. But, Clyde, but yeah, so it'll it'll be some of it will be filmed at the Pioneer. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, it, it's going to be a great. It's got a great storyline. Um, it's just I think people's really going to love it a lot. Um, and then also I've got um, well a lot of stuff coming up, but one amazing thing i've got um in the works is a big 5k run for strength of a woman um, oh nice it'll be in october in forest city um and a lot of the details are still coming together but it's going to all the proceeds are, i'm going to do a big concert after the run um after the award ceremony and then we're going to be giving all the proceeds um to abused and battered women so that's awesome that's yeah. great i'm super excited about that so now do, do you run <laughs> Me? Yes. I run my mouth. You run your mouth. <laughs> no, you do not want to see me running. It is not a pretty sight. Uh -oh. That's my older kids. They they make fun of their mom when when she runs. They, they don't look like a chicken running. It's not a pretty sight. Uh, now I'm thinking about food. I'm looking at this restaurant. I'm just like, have right. I been there before? Looking at the menu and stuff. <laughs> I think I have been there. It seems like, familiar. They have corn nuggets. I don't oh, know. Corn nuggets are good. Yeah, oh, I've had those. Oh, corn nuggets are the bomb. I love corn nuggets. <laughs> That's going to be a, a North Carolina thing. It's kind. Of, I think it kind of is like a southern Which, thing. I don't, I don't know. You're in California, right? I am. Yeah. Oh wow. Yes. So you've never heard of a corn nugget? I mean, it's like is it like a corn dog? No, 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 no. Corn. Uh, oh wait a minute. It's got cream style corn okay. inside of a a fried like a almost a little hush puppy but it's not okay like a hush puppy. it's just got that fried yeah. layer and then when you bite into it it's the cream style corn wow they're pretty good i know the first time oh. i had one i was like "Ooh, hush puppy and i'm like Ew, what is that yeah oh. it was like creamy and i was like this isn't like this is a bad hush puppy and i'm like oh it's corn, it's corn. <laughs> and it's so good yeah yeah I, uh, I can't imagine not liking it you if you love corn you will love a corn nugget yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not a corn dog, it's a corn nugget. They're good. <laughs> very, very good. I don't know why it keeps coming back to food. I, it really I, does. I, I think we're all hungry. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I just got through talking about being on starting my diet. Uh, if I'm gonna get <laughs> this dress for September. Right. You're like, well, the diet starts tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I swore up and down. I, I, you know, I bought a vegetable tray and a fruit tray. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm starting healthy 
I'm going to start exercising tonight. No running, but exercising. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, something fried is really calling my name. Right. Right. I feel like I've done good by dr drinking more water. I mean, I'm just, I mean, water's good. Water it is good. Is good. Water is like amazing. So, um, but yes, yeah, so I can't wait. I'm getting ready to go into the studio probably. I don't know. I would say probably in the next month and a half um, and start recording okay. for the next album, uh, which will be called Unleashed. You know, the last Unleashed. one called Undamaged. So this one will be called Unleashed. Awesome. And it'll be spelled with my name. So I'm so excited. Um, and it's just going to have a lot of, I know this, it's going to have a lot of uh, different styles on it. A lot of cool, different, um, of course, it'll have your hat. Um, you know, God ain't going to send another woman's man. It'll have that one. And I've been working um, with another writer um, and we've been coming up with some amazing songs. So I cannot wait to record those. So just a lot of great things happening. Um, and just can't wait. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say hey to Nick out there. He's watching. One, hey, of, my, one of my buddies. I barely see it. Like it's very little on the screen. Oh yeah, it's kind of tiny. I mean. There we go. What's I don't up? know how to move it. <laughs> hey, <Nick. laughs> I'm still kind of learning this thing. I think there's a way to like when somebody's talking to just go on them only. But I really haven't figured all that out yet because we're not used to really having not a lot of guests. We had like that one month where it was like guests back to back and it was awesome. And now it's just like, let's talk about comic books and so music guys, and movies. Yeah. So you guys have been used to talking to yourself and now you got this like Southern girl is just like blabbing <laughs> all over the place. I mean, well, it's we great. Yeah. I know. I am your favorite, right? It is, yeah, it because works. it's like such high energy and it's just, it's never like a dull moment. Never. We never have to go. Um, well, so is it raining at your house? Like we don't have to like have those awkward <laughs> kind of things. And that's good. We always talk about Pizza Hut. We always talk about which. Of course. I want to go eat inside of a Pizza Hut. I haven't done that in like seventy-five years. I really want to do that. Go inside of a Pizza Hut and do a TikTok. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got to do the TikTok inside. And of I gotta have this shirt on when I go in. Right. You and hey, do the TikTok to, and then. You've got yeah. to represent. I'm telling you, um, because uh, but you got to do it on. T have you have you got a TikTok yet? Yeah, I've been playing around with it a little bit. I haven't done much, but I've been I've been watching videos more than I've made any. Oh, you're a watcher. So. I just saw a watcher yesterday. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I went in because usually I go to Forest City, um, Verizon, um, and so yesterday I went into the Shelby um, Verizon, and it was so cool. And I had like my hat on, no makeup. Had Cash with me, which he's, you know, TikTok. Everybody knows him on TikTok as well. <laughs> um, but we go walking in, and there's four guys there. And uh, the one guy that I first see, he's like, oh, my gosh, I know you. I know I know both of you. You're on TikTok. <laughs> he's like, I'm a wow. watcher, though. I don't have any content. I'm a watcher. So <laughs> he's like just saying, oh, you're TikTok famous. I'm like, no, I'm not TikTok famous. <laughs> but but you did recognize it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. You know? But of course, I had to do a TikTok from from that moment on. It was kind of funny, but um, yeah, it's it, TikTok has most definitely been a great outlet and um, a social media to be able to get get my videos out there and my music out there. I, it blows my mind at how many people um, respond and use my they'll they'll use my songs for their TikToks and. That is a cool feeling. Oh yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I think you you really have a gift for for using social media, just to get your your stuff out there. Well, you know, I, I try to put a little bit of everything on there. I try to let people, and especially women, know. You know, you can you can dress up and have fun, but you can you know you can be real. You know, this is a real world, and you know, there's real things that you go through and, and, and everyday life, you know? Um, so there's days where you could stick on a ball hat and be silly right. and iffy and, you know, but you know, you can have it all. You can have it all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I think maybe not tomorrow or the next day, but maybe tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Walk in there with this on. I need to make, I need to make a, a copy of this like 50 times and like little flyers and put them on a pizza hut every time I go in and like leave it on the door and just play like, what's this? And like, 
Okay, and I'm gonna be waiting. I'm gonna be waiting to see a TikTok with you having that on there. Yeah, I mean, let's to go in and like film, and then like you could put it to my music, and then you could see. Hey, you would do it to where I'm sure that you'd go TikTok famous, and then like you know, uh, they'd see me from the Grand Ole Opry, and they'd be like, "Oh, we've got to get her on the stage." That's how it's gonna work. Yeah. It's going to work, is, and it all depends on how much pizza I want to eat. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, definitely going to happen. And the next time I have a delivery guy come and bring me pizza, I'll give him a, I'll give him a little piece of paper with this picture on it. Like, here, yeah. share this with your friends. Okay. now Go door to door. Chris, I know that we've been talking, and we've been talking about doing a duet together, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we've, we have not practiced at all because, you know, I am always on the go and running back and forth. But I was thinking if we do this song, I think that maybe, you know, I could take a verse. You could take the second verse. We could sing the chorus together. What are you, are you ready for that? I could do uh, what I'd like to do, like do, um, if I could do like a verse and then have you sing the chorus. Okay. And then if that would work out, uh, yeah. that would be a lot of fun. That would be awesome because I've been, I've been, I've been ready to do a duet with you. Yes. I've got my, I've got my guitar here. And uh, I think that we could really, I think we could pull it off. Don't you think? All right. I think, I think so. so. And I'm going to move myself off the screen while you guys are doing this so that that's not so squished. Now there's, but I'll, I'll still be our, here. Are you going to do um, the first and second? Because at first there's two verses at the beginning. So are you going to do the first two verses? or? Yeah, gonna... I'll do the first two verses and then I'll let you do the, the chorus and then uh, why don't you do the the second the the next verse? Okay. And then if that work for you? That sounds good. We'll just we'll just go with it. Let's go. There's Let's no go. practicing. There's no nothing. <laughs> just whole turkey live. Okay. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. not a great player, so you're going to, have to. Hopefully, this will be loud enough where you can hear it. I can hear it great. <laughs> I can hear it great. Mama told me when I was young, come sit beside me, my only son, Miss Millsley, what I say, if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day. Good job. Take your time. Don't live too fast. Troubles will come and they will pass. You'll find a woman and you'll find love. Don't forget, son. There's someone up above. Be simple, kind of me. I'll be something you love and understand. Baby, be simple, kind of me. I want you to do this for me, son. 
to worry. You will find yourself. Follow your heart and nothing else. And you can do this, so baby, if you try. All that I want for you is to be satisfied. Yes. Thank you that so, so awesome. much. That was awesome. So awesome. It sounded great too. I was like on this end, I'm, I'm just listening. I'm like, okay, it sounded really good. No, that, I don't know if that was a delay. I was trying to play with you singing. So hopefully I didn't mess you up. <laughs> no, no, you did great. Thanks. It I, sounded great. I, I, this has been a dream. And uh, so I, I just threw it <clears> in <throat> honor. Thank you so much just for your willingness to, to give that a try. Right. So. I, I'm all for it. I'm just so glad. That was so awesome. You did great. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You know, I, I've, I've sung uh, most of my life when I, from when I was a kid and, uh, you know, grew up in a, in a musical family where, you know, my mom played piano and uh, my dad played guitar. He was a, a taxi cab driver, uh, oh. just like your dad. Oh. And uh, so music has always been something that has been uh, valuable. Um, I, I saw uh, one of the videos with you and your kids mm -hmm. uh, singing and, and playing together. Yes. And uh, that's exactly what happens in my house, right? That we have the, the piano out and I'm playing piano and my, my youngest daughter is over playing the guitar oh. and my oldest daughter is singing along. And uh, there is nothing like that, right? There's not. And, you know, what I had posted, I didn't post like what, what we, we had played and sang. Right. But the fun that went around it and them joking and cutting up with me and um, that, I'll tell you one thing, as a mom, to see all three of my kids be so musically loving it, 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 oh, it I just love it so much because I feel like I'm giving them something that they'll always remember me by. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and not my older son today, he just got through texting me and telling me that, you know, he's been talking to another producer at a studio. So he's, you know, he's been writing music too. So um, it just, it makes you feel really good. It does. When they, you know, when they, they come in and, and you know that you have been a part of that. Um, and my two older kids, they remember me being in bands and playing, you know, all the time you know um and they would come to a lot of the festivals i'd play the stuff that i could you know they could come uh, but they remember mm -hmm. the days when i went and then the, the, you know the shows with you know artemis with you know leonard skinner and um they they remember all that you know so it's pretty cool that they're still they're still so supportive of me um they know you know that I've stepped away and then I've, you know, come back and, you know, I stepped away for the right reasons with them um, and help, you know, getting them raised and, and all that. And now, you know, with cash, uh, you know, time's just allowed it. Um, and society has allowed where you can, you can be a mom and do it. You yeah. Know? You can do interviews and have a, a kid in the next <laughs> room watching. Cartoons. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I, and that's where that one song I, you know, I have, I, it, I've got this called "I Want It All." You know, it, it comes from that. People telling you that you can't do this or you can't do that or you can't be a mom and you can't be a wife and you can't be a singer all at one time or you can't, you know, you can. You just have to juggle it around and make it work, and you can do that. Yeah, you got to learn how to find balance. You right? do, you do, mm -hmm. and I, and that's one thing. Um, and sometimes I do have to kind of step away from social media just a little bit because, you know, if if I did respond to everybody's comment, I would be in a phone 24 hours a day. Hmm. So, you know, I do it here and there. I'll sit up even later at night. I sit up a lot through the night responding to people, um, you know, because I just feel like that's extra time that I'm not taking away from, you know, cat, mm -hmm. just, you know, just. And I feel like I, you know, I'm, I don't want to ever lose that of being able to respond to people, uh, even if it's 
just let them know, hey, I see your comment. If I could just like it or something, you know, just let them know, hey, I, I do see you. Right. Mm -hmm. I forgot about you guys because um, everybody has been so good to me. And I would not be where I'm at today if it was not for all of my friends on Facebook, um, on on TikTok, all them. I mean, because if, if they did not engage in the videos that I put out there and if they did not comment and love what I do and, and be it behind me and support me the way I, I have been supported, I couldn't have done any of this. And, you know, you hear people say, oh, I couldn't have done it without these. Well, it's just truth. You know, yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can sing and you hear, but if you don't have everybody in behind you pushing you and supporting you, you're just somebody sitting there playing the guitar. Right. You have that support. And it comes yeah. from, you know, and I don't like saying fans because they're not my fans. They're <laughs> friends that I have become friends that, you know, I have become friends with everybody. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're most definitely, um, it's been so amazing that the outpouring of support that I get. And even like, you know, I'm not, I'm not from forest city, you know, I moved to forest city. Um, and I'm telling you right now, um, and this is not a diss at my hometown, <laughs> but you know, forest city has embraced me so much. They have, every time I turn around, they're, put me on the front page of their paper, you know, following each milestone that I'm right. going through. And it's like, there's so, you know, the mayor, the, um, everybody has just like embraced me. Um, and, um, and I'm hoping that one day my hometown will. <laughs> so, uh, Oh. Okay, USA, um, we'll do that one day, or maybe I can write a song about it. It'd be like, a yeah. song, how do you like me now? <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, yeah just yeah. just write a song about a paper plant and a Pizza Hut or right. something. And you that, just... the, the, the story is coming together. The plot right. is coming. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think you're right, though. Like like nothing happened. You you didn't get where you are by accident, and you didn't get there all by yourself, right? That. Yeah. It's people that have been supporting you and yeah. uh, everything, right? Yeah, oh, most definitely. You know, I've done this my almost my whole life. From you know, I sang ever since I was little. Um, I sang in school. Uh, my chorus teacher, Kendra Mefford, I love her to death. She just literally retired this year. I I was one of her first year students. Oh wow! And I would wow. braid her hair while she taught. <laughs> Every day I'd go in there and French braid her hair, but she believed in me. <laughs> And she gave me my first solo on stage. And I actually oh, sang wow. a Morgan song, um, except for Monday. And I got to sing with a band. And that was my first performance on a, on a stage in front of live people. And I knew from that moment on, that is what I wanted to do. I turned into a different person on that stage. I was like, yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, and then, of course, you know, I was just in bands. And I've done stuff off and on throughout my my career and stuff. Um, and you know, I stepped away from it, um, up until probably about three or four, well, about three years ago. And that's when I started doing it mainly from my living room. I mean, it wow. really has been from my living room, everything that I've done. And like I said, I couldn't have done and got to where I am today if it hadn't been for the support of people. Um, the people that had knew me from before and supported me that came back, and that was like, yay, you're singing again um, to everybody that I have met new that have just like um, has been so uh, supportive of me. I couldn't have done it without them. That's and awesome. I couldn't have. It, it just would not have happened um, without without them. And and from that and there, because when they show all the support, you know, everybody else, it seems like everybody just kind of comes into play. You know, the interviews, the the. The, the recording of the album, um, the different milestones that, you know, you, you get and you get and you hit and then, you know, you get to share all the exciting things that um, happen to you. Right. You know, and I've had so many great things. I mean, I've had some amazing artists respond to the songs that I've sang, either a duet with them on TikTok or, you know, I've had <laughs> Andrew Kane. I mean, it, it was amazing having him and he even followed me. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, Clay Walker, Terry Clark. Um, I'm working on George Strait now. Um, he's a tough one. I will get him one day. Oh yeah, we'll get him. I'll get after this tonight. I'm gonna go. Hey, listen, 
Okay. Right. So I'm like, you better, if you know it's good for you. No, that's. <laughs> yeah. We need George Strait. And like I said, Dan Rogers from the Grand Ole Opry. Those are the two that we're working on besides Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be a tough battle, but we're going to get them. We're going to, we're going to continue just to speak that into existence for it's you. Exactly so. the spot, you yes. Know? Um, Cause it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's, it's just amazing how things do come together. Like you're talking about, like, it's not just you, you know, people along the way. And it's, that's how I feel with this show. It's like, I started off just, you know, as like a therapy thing and just like all sad, like talking about my losing my dad and stuff. And then it just turned into this whole different thing, which is, Something I look forward to if my week, if I have like the worst week week ever, I can come here and do this. And it's like, yay, for that hour, hour and a half. I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. And then, That's great. like singing a song for me. Yeah. This and then people great. like you come along and it's like makes it even better. It's like, oh yay, we're it's it's a lot more fun. And it's like happy. <laughs> it makes me want to go do things. It's like oh, I want to go stand out front of set up a pizza hut and be like with a sign and, <laughs> and all this stuff. It's like, I don't know. And it, it gives us a lot to talk about. Next well, couple of weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about this probably for the next two or three weeks. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I've always, there's always different mottos that I live up. The speaking into existence, I believe in that. Um, and I believe in, you know, you speak it, believe it, and achieve it. You mm -hmm. have to believe in yourself. Um, and by gosh, if I don't make it as a singer, maybe I could be a motivational speaker or, hey, an actress. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. You did say my Cheetos one, right? You know. Oh, I I love that. That was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I I can keep pumping these things out. If you're talking about being an actress, I can I can keep writing I, these. I know. And I know. I can I I I mean I you know if singing does not work out, you know I'm gonna fall back on one or the other. So it's gonna happen. But see, I I really believe I believe in your music. I I just know that that your passion, the energy you're putting out there, you're gonna get something big back from it. Oh Thanks, yeah, Chris. It's gonna guys, be huge. You guys are the best. I mean, you you just you know you both have supported me, and you know Stephen, you are it's it's you know <laughs> we had never got into like our whole story, but I mean we're oh, yeah. crazy. You know, uh, <laughs> you would have never. I mean, who would have ever thought that we would become like the friends that we've become? Yeah, I mean, it's. I was gonna mention that a minute ago, but I was just like, man, if I if I didn't wake up early that morning to listen to the radio for no reason. I, I just, this, this wouldn't be happening right now. I know, I know. But it was just amazing how everything like happened, and and now you know, here's the second time on the show, and I just thank yeah. you guys so much for believing in me and supporting me, and um, and also we we are giving the the little giveaway. Yes, that's right. That's I right. Know. You're glad. Amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure who it's going to be, but like, it's, I'm excited. I just like, hey, man, it's like, I want to win. But uh, <laughs> but I have this little wheel. Um, we talked about it the first time we did a giveaway. We're like, we need to have a giant wheel. But then we discussed, like, who has the wheel in their house? It's going to be humongous. We can't do that. Oh. But I found a little wheel oh. online. There we there go. We go. We wheel the wheel. Yes. <laughs> Once we get the Pizza Hut thing worked out, we can get a wheel, and you can spin the wheel every time we have a giveaway. Yes. It'll, have, it'll have a Pizza right. Hut logo in the middle of it. And then, <laughs> I mean – but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this here. I have, I'm gonna try to share the screen here so we can show the wheel, um, or at least show the winner, so people don't think I'm making up a name. Like, oh, I picked my friend, and this is the person that won. <laughs> we would um, never. Do no, <laughs> not anymore. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. We wouldn't do that. It was just that so one let's, time. <laughs> let's see if I can do this, and we'll just go ahead and throw the name out there, and then we'll talk about like what we're, what they're gonna be winning, and all that kind of stuff. So, see if I can. I think this is coming through where it's going to here in a second. Yeah, I mean, there's probably like the ad on the side and everything too, but. Yay! Yay. Just, All right. I'm just going to click the wheel money. and then we're going to see who it is. I've got, you know, tons of names. There's like 26 names on here that I could fit in the wheel and it's spinning. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Whoop. And so it's actually a tw somebody from Twitter. Yeah. So, all right. Yay. All right. So, we're going to get with them, I guess. Yay. Chadwick38397676. One of my favorite Twitter names because it's like <laughs> all these numbers and stuff. Um, it just rolls right off the tongue. So, that is awesome. Yeah. And so, hey, I'm going to go ahead and get yeah. off and get back to the. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. We're back. Oh, wait, we're Jim, back. it jumped away again. Where'd it go? Oh, there, there we go. There we go. Okay. It was jumping around on me. But I love yeah. the wheel. It's so much fun. And I've got to get both your CDs to you, too. I have not forgot you guys. So maybe I can get everything in the mail. Oh, it's fun. Um, especially because I know there'll be not, well, they won't be open tomorrow, but on Tuesday I'll be able to go and get everything mailed off. But yeah, so the bundle will be a, a autographed CD, a poster, which are really cool. Uh, there's just a limited edition of those um, that were printed uh, through Fireteam Designs. They're the ones that do all of my merchandise, the shirts that you've got on now. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> and uh, so they'll, they'll be able to have a, a t shirt. Um, I'll get, I'll, I got, on either size, maybe you can reach out to them, Stephen. Yeah, I'm going to, um, after the show, I guess, I'm going to go ahead and send them a message and try to get with them and see. Okay. Uh, maybe get their information and we'll all get together and, and get it. Because I don't even know their name. It was just a Twitter handle. And I'm like, I don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll get them all taken care of. So that's awesome that they will. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Love doing giveaways. Um, it's so much I'll, fun. I'll probably, I'll probably give more away than I sell. <laughs> But it's so much fun. It is fun. I like doing the wheel. I always feel bad. I'm like, ah, oh. because like I, you can't. I, everybody I, can't win, and it's like. Oh. I know, I know, and it's like you know, I I feel bad like some you know even on TikTok, you know, um, I'll start doing a thing. I've been doing tars, you know. I did the um, I have, well, I have the black one. I know you remember it from the last time that was completely filled with names that I had. Mm -hmm. like, um, and then, of course, I have this one, which is my, the one I play, which has got Lori's. If you can see it right there. Well, there yeah, we go. Yeah, I, yeah yes. there we go. So, That's awesome. Yeah. So Lori's signature is right there. Um, and so my other guitar, though, um, the white one, um, I did one for it. And actually, it's going to a place in Texas um, for a man that literally lost his home during a fire um, and oh, lost wow. it. Been in his wow. his family for over seventy years. Um, so it was Jody Jackson, and he's with Cutter Creek Cattle Company, and they are well, New Mexico and into Texas. So um, they have always been so good to me, and so I've ended up getting lots of names on that guitar and Lori Morgan signed it Artemis Powell with Leonard Skinner signed it um so they they're using it to to raise money for him so um I was tickled that I could do something I'm always wanting to do something to help people yeah that's great before, that's great before. that's awesome but yeah. I yeah, Lee, I was wondering if there, if you'd be willing to share one more song with us before I we wrap things up. You. I know. I'm what asking I'm hey. asking big. I'm asking big, but Wow. Let's see here. I guess I could maybe do a song. Um it's been a while since I've like really been playing like I could probably do one that's not on the album. Okay. If I can remember to play it. Now, this one's called Your Hat. All right. Have you heard it or not? Have you heard this one yet that I wrote? I don't know if I have, I've, but I'm going to. I don't know if I've heard that one either. It's an upbeat song, you know, because all my other ones are, you know, um, it's not male bashing by no means, but they are not really lovey songs. And this one right here, um, both of you guys have got your hats on. So, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like, let me take mine off. I'm worried. <laughs> it's about, it's called Your Hat. So usually, um, you know, I don't know when you, when you met your wife, Chris, did you ever let her wear your hat or did she try to steal your hat? Or All the time. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to get this song. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, you put me on the spot. So hopefully I do not mess up. All right. You'll be great. You'll be great. And then I think what I'm going to do is like put you solo so like everybody can see oh, you and yeah. have us come off. If you're okay with that, Chris, I don't want to like push. Okay. All right. Yeah. Driving down the road in my pickup truck. Got a little bit of gas in my car. Driving down the road in my pickup truck. Keep 
This is such a fun song. Yeah, it's it's really cute. It's a, of course I had to incorporate Keith Whitley in it because I love Keith Whitley. I loved his music, and um, yeah, and who doesn't love to slow dance in the kitchen? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's what we all dream <laughs> about: is slow dancing in the kitchen or anywhere. <laughs> One day I'll have somebody to dance with. I'm dancing with my food most of the time, but right. David, you're just hungry tonight. I yeah, know. I know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Pizza, pizza's sounding really good too. I'll tell you what. I married. I married a dancer, and uh, we fell in love dancing, and it's been great. Uh, just being married for twenty plus years with my <gasps> my my favorite dance partner. So, wow. I, I definitely relate. So, wow, I'm telling you, that is sweet. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So is there, yeah. is there like a secret? To stay staying together that long, uh, you know what? I think we, I think we're just both very stubborn people, right? We're just <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. Leave? No, I'm not leaving you. Leave? <laughs> and here we well, are. That's awesome. Congratulations! Yeah. That you. is awesome. Thank you. So I, I loved your song mm. though. It was yes. great. Thank you. I cannot wait. Normally, like I said, I did start off in a lower key, um, but the show had to go on. Couldn't yeah. stop. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it is, a, it is a very cute song. It's just, um, you know, and, and all the songs that um, that I've been writing and co-writing for this album, they are just, there's so many different styles. And, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait to get in the studio to hear the magic begin and all. Because, you know, I am not a player. I have never, I've never said that I was a great guitar player. I can strum three chords. You give me a capo. Right. <laughs> Three chords of capo and I can play anything. But that's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, but yeah, no, I, mean, I know more than three chords, but um, right. but, uh it's, 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 it's a Four. joke uh, with the three chords and the capo. Because you right. can't about play anything with three chords and the capo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I'm super excited about putting some new music out there and I'm so excited uh, about going to the, the Josie Awards and, um, I know that there's going to be a lot more excitement building up as the, the months go on. I think they're getting ready to, to uh, it, Josie just got through interviewing Alan Jackson last oh, night wow. and just wow. had it aired. Oh yeah. I was like, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Alan Jackson is amazing. So he uh, is. He is. He's, they have been just doing so such great things over there. Um, and so I just, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, Proud to be a part of that family for sure. So, for people that uh, that want to purchase your album Undamaged, right? How could they get a copy? Okay, so uh, right now, Undamaged is on every musical platform there is. Spotify. I mean, if you are on a playlist, please add me to your playlist. Stream it. Um, that's going to help me the most. Just 
you know, getting on playlist and getting the, the music out there, um, you know, but you can find it on there. It's called Undamaged, Lee Newton. All the songs will be on there. Um, my merchandise, if you'll, if you'll go to um, my new website, which is LeeNewtonMusic.com, um, there is a way that you can email me. Um, and as far as like getting a hard copy of the CD, you can you can either email me through there or you can send a Facebook message um, and we can go from there as far as that because I'm the only one that has the hard copies of the CDs. Um, but all the other merchandise is through Fire Team Designs um, and they are just so amazing like Andrea and, and Laurel, Laurel, I always say Laurel, Laurel. <laughs> and, and Nate and all them, uh, they are just amazing there. Um, and they, they, they really work hard around the clock to, to get everything out to people. Um, so they're fire team designs, but everything's on my website. And if you want to find me anywhere, it's Lee Newton music, L E Newton music. And it's right there. Yes. You're yes. awesome. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and you can find that on TikTok. You can find that, you know, Lee Newton music is everywhere. Um, Instagram, Facebook, um, and that's you can get a hold of me at one of those places, <laughs> and Great. we'll take care of you. We'll take yeah. care of you. We wanted to make sure we give you a plug before you left. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love that's that. So I love the shirts. I just thank you so, so much for wearing yeah. these shirts. Yeah, we we really love them. That is so cool. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 you are, smile. Yes. I'm gonna. You got a smile. And hold it, do like this with the shirt. I'm gonna do a right. screenshot and then I'm gonna put it on. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I'll post it. Oh. Awesome. I love the fact that when we first saw these, like Chris and I both saw two different images. Like we and it was so cool because at first I'm just like, oh cool, a flag. Then we're like, oh wait, there's a there's guitars. And then we're like, oh wait, there's drumsticks. And like and then I'm looking, I'm like, is there is there like part of this that's a pizza? <laughs> or like, because that would be great, right? Like a cheese grater. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could I cover this part up, and there's a cheese grater right there. Right. There you go. It keeps you occupied for a while. I mean, it really, it really does. It's a that bunch was, of little pepperonis. That was my first shirt, um, and Nate had um, he designed it, um, and he did an amazing job with that. And so now my shirts that will come from here on out uh, that come from Fire Team, uh, like my undamaged one, it has the picture of me with the album cover, but it actually has that on the side of it on the sleeve. Oh, and cool! Inside oh, where cool. it says Newton, it actually says undamaged, so it'll have um, have that on the sleeve. It's pretty pretty cool. But yeah, everybody needs to go to that website and check it out. Put it up there again. Yeah, sign up for the, 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 the newsletter. I promise you, I will not bombard your email. Um, <laughs> um, usually, if it's only going to be once, maybe a month, you know, just to kind of update everybody on um, things that's going on. Um, but I, I, do, I will not be sending out tons of stuff because I usually put so much on Facebook and all the other social media. People know pretty much what's going on uh, <laughs> with me. Um, that's one thing I've, I've always been very public, um, but just kind of letting everybody into my life and stuff. Um, but, uh, but I, I prefer it that way. I want, I want everybody to know that I'm, yeah. I'm real and, you know, mm -hmm. I think. I'm just going to show everybody like a quick little look at the website right here. Just check it out. Yeah. It's a pretty cool looking website too. I just yeah. went to it. It's got all the, a little tabs at the top and the, the picture changes. It's really cool. Well put together little website. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. There's going to be way more added to it. Um, I think, you know, if you've scrolled down, I, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's got yours too. So there's, um, you know, it's got all the interviews on there. I've still got a lot more to add. Um, I've got to add, um, which I've, you've got somebody else working on the website now. So they'll be adding more stuff. Yeah. To it. Great. Um, it, it, that Show that again, real quick, because like yeah, you're scrolling through. You you know got your videos. You've got you know, yeah, um, biography. So you get a little bit about you. you, yeah, yeah. And then there's like all the you know, the podcast. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I did not know that was on there. You did until yeah. you just said that, and I saw it. I'm like, look, everybody. Yeah, there you are. Sweet, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super proud of it. Um, and one of the ladies that did my bio, she was just, she was amazing. She's from Nashville and um, super, super great people that I've been working with and stuff. I can't, can't say enough good things about them. But I will That's be playing awesome. in Nashville in the next uh, month and a half. I got an, another date that'll be coming up and be announced. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah, um, that's great. A lot of stuff happening, and um, a lot of stuff that I could keep on talking about. So <laughs> one day I want to be able to like fly out to one of these shows and cover it. Like it's me. I'm here with with the podcast, and we're here to talk. I have a nice like fancy like outfit or something like that and be like look at me i'm an official I'm like no you that maybe one day maybe one maybe, day we can get a bunch maybe of you can come to the august show it's going to be in shelby it's going to be at the dragonfly um it's the first saturday in august um hmm. and i have people coming in from texas to this show wow. so this is going <laughs> and hopefully Nashville. I have a few people from Nashville that's even thinking about coming. So I'm hoping and praying because um, this is going to be a great show, a uh, full band. Um, it's going to be, nice. uh, I'll be adding some of my, my, my originals, but it's going to be the covers. It's going to be, if people remember seeing me on stage, you know, um, a few years ago, you're going to get a show. Um, it's going to be amazing. Can't wait. I would definitely love to try and make it out to that. Yes. Yeah. You guys will love it. And I know, I know, Chris, you're a lot further out. So it's a long drive, yeah. A little, it'd be a little bit of a drive. Be a little, a little bit, bit of a drive, maybe, but yeah. Hey, you could just like you said, uh, we were joking about it one one episode a while back about me getting an Uber to the pizza place up in California, and you said your brother Corey could do it. For like, what was it, five thousand? Maybe he could drive you here for that, and oh, you yeah. can go to that show. You know, five thousand dollars for an Uber that would be that would be yeah. quite the Uber. <laughs> You need a plane ticket. I need a plane ticket. <laughs> right? It'd be a lot cheaper. It'd be a yeah. lot cheaper. It'd be a lot cheaper. <laughs> well, Lee, we want to thank oh, yeah. you again so much for your time, just for your 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 generosity. Thank you for for singing with me. Uh, oh, that was just such an yeah, awesome, that was amazing, an awesome thing. So, thank you for just taking a, taking a risk. And oh, uh, that's what it's all about. It's always about yeah. Life. You gotta live it, life. You're only here you one do. time. Well, we will continue to celebrate you and, uh, and, and support you, and we'll look forward to uh, the next big thing that we'll have you on and talk about. So, Okay. Well, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for Our putting pleasure. this on your website and everything. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, and this one right here will go on there, too. So um, Awesome. So you got to get more of these. Right. Yeah, so I'll most definitely get your CDs out to you on Tuesday, and you let me know um, about the winner, and we'll give them the little goodie pack. Um, yeah, I can't wait, that's awesome. So I'll hear back from you so soon. Thank you so much. Bye, yeah. guys. Have a good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. So cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we if we got much else to say after that. Um, if we could, I didn't know if you wanted to keep going a little bit or if you wanted to kind of make it all about Lee, but I think that was, that was way more fun than I thought it would be. And it went by I know. so much quicker than, than the last one. And then I thought it ever would, because I'm like, we haven't been talking for over an hour. This has been like 15 minutes. I know. I oh think what was, I, I will just say that, um, you know, I had, I, I had thrown out the idea of doing that duet and sometimes you see things and you're just, you know, you're like, there's, there's no way that will ever happen. Yeah, right. uh, I just sang a duet with Lee Newton. Yeah, so I'm just I'm I'm really glad that I argued with her on Facebook that one day. Right. Because right. <laughs> honestly, I mean, I know Lee didn't. She, she never really wanted to dig into the story because it it's kind of a negative story at first. But I, I mean, I'm not gonna jump into it either. But it it was one of those weird things. And same thing yeah. with Mark Guggenheim. Same thing with and I made a joke about that before. I need to start like yelling at everybody so they'll come and do interviews. I, I don't um, know what it is. You got a knack for, you know, uh, getting people's attention. However, that anger. is. <laughs> right. Maybe I need to yell at John right. Wesley Ship so he'll stop liking the tweets and come on. Right. I'm um, like, listen here, jerk. No, um, I would never do that. I love the no. guy. He's awesome. <clears throat> and so but many people are awesome. Hard to hard to argue with the fact that it, for whatever reason, it gets their attention. Yeah, and I mean, I can never plan it. It's with Mark. It was. Uh, I don't even know what the specific argument was about, but he had 
posted something and I was like, I disagree. This is wrong or something like that. And he was like, no. And kind of how with Lee, it was just like this little nothing argument that it's like, Hey, well, you're, you're kind of nice. So let's talk more. How are you? Oh, you do, you do a lot of music, huh? And then just kind of like builds up and builds up and it's eventually boom. And there's been some where I didn't start off with an argument or like a, any kind of negative thing, but I try to just like eat, like eat away and chip away and like not to be, not to annoy people, but like, like something comment to somebody, you know, no, we've made a lot of progress on Twitter. It's kind of blowing up at this point. I mean, it's, yeah. we're growing every day. I see a notification like this person's followed, this person's followed. And the winner tonight was one of the people that just kind of retweeted something or liked it. Right. Hopefully, hopefully they like Lee Newton's music. And I think they just, they don't just like, like everything we post. So they're like, I don't want a CD. Like, no, I'm sure they do because they wouldn't have liked that specific post. Um, I know my mom was looking forward to it. She's like, I hope I win. I'm like, well, I'm not going to force you to win, <laughs> but hopefully. And uh, her name was definitely on there. But I mean, it, it's, I, and I did not know she was going to put us on her on her website. That that was a total shock. Wasn't that a surprise? I'm like, wow, if we can get everybody to put our stuff on their website, then we could just have like this accidental built-in network out there that, I mean, I wonder how many people have watched those old shows from her website and how long it's been there. Like, that's amazing. That's awesome. And then we, now we definitely owe her a Pizza Hut sponsorship. I don't know how right. I'm going to do that, but right. I'm going to get on, get on Twitter tonight with the CEO of uh, Pizza Hut and, and just tweet after tweet until they either block me or reply. And like, look, you need this woman on your Pizza Hut stuff. Put her face on a box. I mean, I think the point is that we just need to keep we need to keep plugging people that had been on the show, right? Yeah, um, keep up with it. Yeah. Every time I see Northwood Pie on on uh, on Twitter or on Facebook, I, I keep uh, I keep plugging it and and uh, and liking it and retweeting it, and I, I'm going to do the same thing for Lee. So. Absolutely, I got to do more of that with Lee. I mean, I follow her on Facebook, and watch her post, share her post, like her post. But I need to start interacting with her posts. And, you know, speaking of Northwood Pie, we talked about pizza. We talked about them. We got to throw it up here. I know, Jay, Todd, you guys, you're watching now. We will see this eventually. You always do. You always help share the love. You've been helping me out a lot with with uh, giving me notes on the script and everything. So follow those guys, Northwood Pie, Jay and Todd. Follow them. And then, of course, we can't forget about Mark Guggenheim. Because and we're going to throw the rest of our Twitters out there right now while we're talking about that because, well, we always do that. We haven't really right. plugged it. I put, I put yours up. I don't know if you saw it, but I put yours up earlier during the song just so everybody would know, like, hey, these are the people that are talking right now. Well, look at them. Um, but, yeah, our Mark Guggenheim at M. Guggenheim at Pot and Hard Place, uh, CJ Kirk 1979, and then myself at Stephen Colton. Um Check us all out. And I wish Lee had Twitter. I need, we need to talk her into getting on Twitter if she doesn't already have it. She really I, does. I think I should have brought that up with her when, when she was on just now because I think if she had Twitter, we can make things like Pizza Hut happen a lot quicker because we've gotten people onto this show out of nowhere. I mean, from Twitter. I've, you know, I was like this close to almost having Stephen Amell once, but it is what it is. Um, and I didn't want – I could have easily gotten like – I could have been like, Mark, please, 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 you know the guy. But he didn't want to do that, and I didn't want to do it that way. He's like, look, I could easily get it. But no, I don't want to do that. Um, I want us to be able to really like earn it and either annoy them so much that they say, fine, <laughs> or you know, get it ourselves. You know, right. least, or not, not to say like not taking help, but – I don't want to say like you know this guy and you know this guy. I don't want to like use people for things. I mean, if they know, if they if they offer it, I'll I'll not refuse it. I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if like if um if if Mark Guggenheim comes on here and says, you know who else I know, I know I don't know Ben Affleck or something. I, who know who knows like some huge name. If if they like put that on the table, I'm like, okay, I'll I'll pull up to that table and and have that conversation, but. I think we're moving slowly, but we're moving good, and it, it can't I, be I, overnight. No, it can't. I think that if we if we had looked at where we were a year ago, right, and compared yeah, yeah. to where we are now, I mean, I think that we have we have just kept growing and growing and growing and learning 
at just stepping up our game. And so I think that we just continue to do what we're doing. We keep being persistent about what we're putting out and who we invite. I think only good things are going to come our way. Yeah, and I'm still learning like, the technical little things on here. Like That's the first time I was ambitious enough to <clears throat> try a solo view on a screen because I feel like that's a lot of production, and it's not automatic. I know some services out there like Zoom and things like that, or maybe Skype or automatic where it detects voice and would automatically switch between. Right. Um, I feel like the quality of StreamYard is a lot better than some of those other services, not to knock them or put them down, but you know, I think overall it's better experience. It's easier. Um, but I, I've been thinking about trying to go solo back and forth, but it's going to be so annoying to like, okay, if I'm talking right now, it's like, okay, I'm only talking. And then if you talk, it's like, okay, now you're only talking. That's a lot of clicks. It is. Um, so one day, like when we get big enough, I'll have, I was going to suggest to Lee, like you need to hire somebody to run your Facebook for you. Like I can do it. I'll, I'll just run your Facebook. Hey everybody, it's me, Lee. And then, you know, <laughs> makes me wonder, have we really talked to Mark Guggenheim on Twitter? Or is it like his assistant? <laughs> I, no. <laughs> I think Mark, I think Mark does his own social media. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to work around. I don't know why. But, you know, I feel like John Wesley ship is one of the ones that we definitely can can get. Like, I don't think it's out of reach. He seems like a great guy that would want to sit down and talk to us. He's very active. I think yes. that is that, that is the that is probably the thing that I've noticed is he's very, very active on social media. And I, I'll, I think what we have to do is continue to kind of um, get his attention. You know, I, I feel oh, yeah. the same way about the cast of Superman and Lois. Yeah. The, the uh, uh, Jordan Elsass, Alex Garfin, um, uh, Eric Valdez. Um, yeah. Those those guys, they're they're really active on social media. Uh, and they've and all liked our stuff. They have. And so they've interacted they with us quite a bit. So it's the it's the translation from liking our stuff to agree to come on the podcast. It's a huge leap. It but is. It is. It's at least a step in the right direction. So but at least now it's like a it's like a huge pond and we're on this island over here and we want them to come across this this pond to get to us. At least they're on that side of the pond and they can see over here. Yeah. yeah they're, now they're just it, they're, we're just waiting for them to find a boat to get over here. I don't know why I went to boat and pond, but you know I'm, I was just going with it, so. Yeah, and now I'm waiting for pizza. Actually, I'm not. I wish I was. They call up Pizza Hut. Like, yes, we need. I should have called Pizza Hut while he was on the phone or on the on the thing. I was like, look, and while you're at it, can you bring us a sponsorship? And here's here's Lee now. Talk to her. Let me speak to your manager. And then <laughs> do that. Just call every Pizza Hut all day long. Make it happen. But yeah, I, I need to rewatch all the shows again so we can talk about those next week. Um, unless you wanted to stay on all night long, twenty four hour show. No, I, um, I, I, this has ooh. been. I feel like there's there's been enough in this episode, right? Uh, to go along, we'll just look for look forward to talking about uh, Superman and Lois. Yeah, uh, that, oh my time. gosh, oh, that show is just it gets better and better. It does. Better I literally, I literally sat there with my jaw. On the floor, it was just crazy. Couldn't believe it. So I was, I had a prediction that it was going to be a Lex Luthor. Um, but we won't go too far into this because I know we've kind of hit our mark by this point usually. But I was wrong, and I was, I was, I knew Luther, but I didn't know he was like some thief that stole the tech and came back and all this stuff. And I'm not too familiar with his character because I was, I was confused because at first, but then I remembered there are two characters named Steel. And in DC, so it's like, oh, he's the other steel, and Legends has the other steel. Right, Captain. There's, there's a uh, Citizen Steel, uh, right. which is which is the one that uh, that Nate plays on mm -hmm. Legends, and then there is, um, there is Steel, who is sort of like a version of Superman. Uh, yeah, John Henry, John Henry Irons, uh, you know, who uh, has that that kinetic hammer. So, pretty right. pretty sweet. It's kind of like a Superman and Thor mixed sort of kind of thing, and 
it's a cool character. I mean, I knew I knew who it was, but I just wasn't that familiar with the character. But but it's still exciting. Yeah, I think that I had been. I think the more that I. Uh, so yeah, Core says you know it's a steal that Shaquille O'Neal played, and I'd forgotten that. So yeah, right. They did have that. I, I do think that I like um, Wally as Steel better than Shaquille O'Neal. So yeah, a little bit. I mean, I haven't seen that in a long time, but I think he's a little bit better. Slightly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that was that's just, this is a fun show. I'm glad we got to come on here, and I'm glad we never got any kind of weird like drop in internet or anything like that. Like that no, it worked. Sometimes. It worked great. Because I figured if we were gonna have one, it would be tonight. Like that, I just I was expecting it. I was like, please, 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 please. But luckily, it didn't, and uh, and that's great. Yeah, I, and we had our first um, our first live performance. Yeah, I, you know, I thought the sound quality was great. It so. was awesome. Yeah. It, it sounded really good on my end too, because I was I was kind of worried it might kind of be a little muffled, but it sounded wonderful. Hopefully, the playback is is good because I know we had an issue that one time, but I'm sure it will be because I didn't hear any kind of echo, any kind of anything. Um. And the guitar, I was worried about the guitar. I was like, how's that yeah. going to sound when it starts going? But it sounded great. I think it helps that Lee does a lot of a lot of live recording over yeah. video. So I think she's probably got a setup for that to help out. I'm so. sure, yeah. <clears throat> she really oh, was right. a real she really she really was great just um, being open to, to doing some some new things. So that was great. I was looking for my joke, my DC joke book, but I'm like, no, I don't oh, want no. to. Be, no. Oh no! You're like, don't ruin a good thing by like tainting it with horrible jokes. Yeah, I have, I have received some feedback about the joke book. Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh oh. It was a valiant effort. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> never again, I guess. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I really right. didn't plan on going like every day with it or anything. It was really going to just be the one time. Right. Or or maybe if you like find one that you really, really like, um, you know, that actually that is be, good. Right. Or I could just memorize the whole book and then like work it into conversation. You could. Like, yeah. well, Superman and Lois, like Superman on that episode, he was so good that he had to, he brought a new meaning to catching a bus when he caught that. But, uh, but no. Then, uh, then it would just be like me trying to like it would make me look worse because it's like I'm stealing terrible jokes. If I'm going to steal I jokes, it's still good jokes. On the positive side, that would make me look better. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's been fun, and I can't wait till next week. We can talk about. I'll probably want to talk a little bit more about Crisis again because I watched oh, yeah. I watched the whole thing on one disc. That was awesome, um, and the special features and all that stuff. Yes. Um, and then this week's shows. And I still need to keep up with Batwoman and Supergirl. I haven't watched those in a few weeks. I probably haven't seen any Supergirl this season at all, honestly. Because um, I think the, the whole COVID uh, break really threw me off on scheduling. And I did not know when all the, the Flash I knew. And I know next season, Legends is going to go like Wednesdays, I think. Really? Um, because they're they're switching nights, I believe, uh, or maybe it's Batwoman on Wednesdays. It's it's it might be Batwoman on Wednesdays. I don't know. It's one of those shows that's going to go to Wednesday, and it's going to be weird. Um, but at least we're getting a season, yeah. and then we're you know we're hearing the rumors that Flash ends after eight season. So hopefully that's not true. Hopefully we, we can make it to ten at least. I'm ready to see some Bart Allen, and that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I think we all are. That's really exciting. He'll steal the show. Yeah, and as Corey just pointed out, which I, I, I remembered that, but I haven't seen it. But, uh, whoops, wrong one. Wrong comment. Black Lightning has just ended. So, and, and, and that was a good, that was really a good ending. And I still have to watch some more of that, but... From one of from the little bit I have seen of it, like I I love that show. From what I have seen, I haven't seen a lot, but I've never hated any of these DC shows. I mean, even even Riverdale, even though it's not like a CW like Arrowverse, like it's Archie in such a weird way, but it's good. Um, 
I've only seen a few episodes, but I'll stop talking because I'll never stop. Um, but yeah, I, and, uh, yeah. One last thing though, um, yeah. uh, Doom Patrol. I don't know if yeah. you've watched. I don't know if you've ever watched Doom Patrol. But I've seen it the like, first one or two. It is like my uh, my 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 new favorite weird TV show binge. I mean, they're kind of like the they're kind of like the Titans and like the Justice League, but they're the they're the misfits. Okay, so, yeah, I know I like I, it because like I love shows like that, and I saw a little bit of that went into beginning of Titans when I went back to see Titans. There was a little kind of a crossover kind of thing. Right. And so from what I saw from that, I was like, okay, this is really great. And I would want to see more of these characters. It's really, it's really, really good. Um, again, because it's, you know, because it's on uh, HBO max, uh, you know, it's, it certainly is more edgy, a little bit more, you know, uh, violent and, and a little bit more vulgar, but mm. uh, the, the storyline is, is crazy, uh, crazy good. So I, I really encourage you to check it out. If it's half as good as Titans, I'm going to love it. Yeah. It's, it's, Titans, yeah, it's, it's, it's very in a, in a very similar style to it, but they're kind of unlikely heroes. And I think that's what I like about it too. Okay. That sounds, that sounds good. Yeah, kind of sounds a lot like well, not a lot like, but reminds me of the Umbrella Academy. I don't know if you saw that series on Netflix. I did. I loved Umbrella Academy, and uh, their third season, I believe, is coming up soon. Oh, really? Sweet. I don't know exactly when, but they've been posting like you know we're filming now or whatever, or maybe they've wrapped already. I don't know, but it's it's coming, and they're actually another last little bit. I know we I keep saying like one last thing. I know. Well, I know. They're right. They're actually going to begin filming, I believe the first episode of the Green Lantern series in August, I want to say. Sweet, sweet. And because I asked Mark, I was like, is this true? You guys shoot in August. It may or may not happen exactly at that time, but that's what they're shooting for. And of course, I was like, hey, Mark, you know, when, when you guys get close to promoting this episode, let us know and you come back over here. Right. And he's like, absolutely. So looking forward to that. Maybe a that's few great. months from now, but I mean, it's it's going to happen eventually and, and it's exciting. All right. But yeah, now that's the end of this week's episode. So all right, uh, we'll have we'll have plenty more to talk about next week, and see that I'm waiting to see the feedback and the reactions of tonight's episode. So that's yeah. gonna be exciting. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a good night. All right. You too. All Take right. it easy. Sure.